Hi, I'm Matt Simon, Senior Analyst at Tab Group, and I'm here with Mark Hipperson, President of BJSS. And we're going to talk about Dodd-Frank Dodd implementation, and um, they recently wrote a white paper about Dodd-Frank compliance solutions, um, obviously a major topic in the industry today. And um, IT consultants have been very busy, Mark. Um, we have. And uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, what are some of the things that you guys are focused on, and what are some of the priorities today for uh, IT consultants and what you guys are working on? Well, Dodd-Frank the last two years has been um, where we're doing a lot of work. Um, it's it's a type of work that it's it's where there's rules haven't been set or requirements haven't been set. There's lots of movement in that area, and um, consultancies have been get, been engaged working with banks to try to sort those problems out, trying to get a tactical solution in. So there's plenty of time to then put a strategic solution in shortly thereafter. So that's a big area at the moment. So the focus uh, in this white paper you guys talk a lot about is around Title Seven, yep. and um, some issues obviously are restricted by the industry and the industry being able to move forward with actually defining what the rules are going to be. Indeed, yeah. Um, but other things are more unique to the actual firms, and you were working with a client in this particular case. What were some of the challenges that you found came up that were potential potentially harder to overcome? Okay, so we worked on both sides. We worked with um, two major um, banks um, in the UK, actually, and also a uh, financial regulator on the other side as well. So we've got a bit of experience on both sides of uh, the challenges that that uh, we face implementing Dodd Frank and other uh, other regulations. I guess the problems are are generic to a large extent from just delivering a project. So if there's this complexity around change, which is, which is the biggest problem with Dodd Frank, because the, the, the uncertainty about about dates, about requirements that doesn't lead you to follow a sort of standard approach to delivering projects. You have to be agile, you have to be smart, you have to be quite incisive in terms of managing change, managing requirements, uh, and those are the particular problems with Dodd-Frank delivery. So in terms of that, do you have any advice or do you guys propose any solutions um, in terms of uh, people resources mm -hmm. and, and how that, if you want to meet those deadlines, you can, you can actually succeed in your goals? Sure, yeah. Well, our white paper lists a whole, whole load of recommendations mm -hmm. and lessons learned that, that would, I would ask people to have a look at. But those, some, of the, some of the most important things, I guess, are, are, are clear, um, clear requirements, getting the requirements down and getting someone managing their, those requirements, an SME, a, a, a subject matter expert, managing those mm -hmm. requirements, understanding the rule changes, understanding the impact on the systems uh, that uh, are occurring, and good stakeholder management across the whole of the business. So front, middle and back office are all going to be impacted often by, by changes to, to, um, to Dodd-Frank in, in the swaps area. So understanding that across a piece is really important. So project management is a, is a really a key issue. I mean, we, we, we've, we've heard this a lot um, over the time that Dodd-Frank is being implemented. Mm -hmm. What do you see today in terms of the industry and how many firms are actually been taking the right steps and where a firm like yours can come in and help to, you know, maybe meet the areas where they haven't necessarily been able to succeed? Okay, well, um, from a bank's perspective, you want, you want to have your smartest talent working on this, really, because mm -hmm. you've got dates you've got to hit and, um, and there's no, there's no, uh, there's no, um, uh, getting away from that really. So you want your smartest talent working on it, and if you're doing that, you can pull them off other important projects. So you, you can do it yourself by, by bringing in um, people from, from your own area. You can work with good consultancies who understand this experience, uh, this space and have got a bit of experience in it, or you're going to go to the contract market. They're the three main areas. I guess you know, I would always recommend small firms who understand what they're doing, who've got a lot of experience, who've got smart people who will be able to do a good, good focused job, and understand agile is really important. Right, so now it's, uh, it's February 2013. Mm -hmm. we're, um, I think we were talking, we're about two thirds of the way through the final deadlines and the implementation. Indeed. Um, any advice to firms or any final words of wisdom that you would pass along at this point? Um, I would imagine people are in a position whereby they're all done, all nice and, nice and clear, and they can, they're relaxing, or they're, they're running around um, a bit worried about the dates right now. Um, you know, there's, there's ways that we can get things delivered still. There's, there's time to get things delivered, and there's, there's, there's quite ample time to get things delivered. So there's tactical solutions you can deliver now, and strate strategic solutions you can plan on doing. I suggest you, you, know, you engage a small firm who knows what they're doing, who can help you through that and, and give you some, some clear choices to make. Sounds good, and I, and I would think that um, this uh, this white paper that you guys wrote on Dodd Frank compliance mm -hmm. that you can access through the website uh, at BJSS would also be a good read for uh, potential uh, potential people that are interested in this topic. Um, but I well, want to thank Mark for taking the time today to uh, to talk about Dodd Frank compliance. It's an important issue. Um, I think it's something that um, our followers should continue to read about. And uh, I appreciate everyone for for watching today. I'm Matt Simon, Senior Asset Tab Group. This is Mark Hipperson, President of BJSS. Thank <laughs> you.